morning. Good morning. Good morning, Tina for Network Family. This is Nikisha Bond welcoming you to the Monday Motivational Call. If you're out there, Tim family, go ahead and let us know who you are and where you're calling from. Uh, Barbara Pope is on. Hi, Barbara. Welcome to the call. Good morning Hi, to you. I'm calling from Fort Washington, Maryland. Well, I know we've got Barbara on the line. Who else is out there, Tim family? Don't be shy. Let us know who you are and where you're calling from. Reno, Nevada. Greg Rodnack speaking. All right, Greg from Reno, Nevada. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, ma'am. How do? Doing wonderful. Every day above ground is a great day. No reason to complain. That's what I say. Who else is out there on the Line 10 family? Let us know who you are and where you're calling from. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Welcome to the call. I see we got Virginia in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you guys on the call with us today. I love Monday mornings. It's always a great day to start over, to start fresh, to get your mornings going off with a bang. Who else is out there, Ten family? Let us know who you are and where you're calling from. Diane Wafer from Washington, D.C. Good morning, coach. First lady, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so excited for this call today, and I'm glad you're here with us with all your energy and love and passion. Bring it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm just excited about family, about our Ken family. I tell you, it's just such a blessing to be a part of this business. Because the people are just so wonderful. Amen, honey. We appreciate you so much. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Who else is out there on the line, Ken family? Let us know who you are. Where are you All right, Miss Gladys from Houston. Welcome to the call. Thank you. And Danny from Washington, D.C. All right. Good morning. We have Washington, D.C. Yes. Go ahead, Tim family. Let us know who you are and where you're calling from, and we'll get started in just a minute. Pastor Denise has an appointment, so I'm just welcoming everyone in today. Go ahead, let us know who you are and where you're calling from. My name is Morell, and I'm calling from Jonesboro, Georgia. Well, good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Welcome to the call. Thank you for joining us today. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay, Tim family, we're going to get started. We'll do the last call. Let us know who you are and where you're calling from. This conference is being recorded. Oh, that's my cue. All callers are muted. Good morning, Tim family. This is your host, Nikisha Vaughn, welcoming you to this call today. I, Like I was saying earlier, I love Motivational Mondays. You know, everyone is starting their diet today. They're quitting smoking today. And you are on the line because you are ready to grow your business today. And so I am excited to be here and to help you with anything that you guys need. Pastor Denise had an appointment, so she can't be here, but she sends her love and her appreciation and her gratitude and just all of her yummy warmness. But you know what? I'm going to move myself out of the way because we're going to bring this man on who I know has been working hard over this weekend. His PTPs are growing like mad crazy right now. I mean, I don't even know how they're getting all these people into one room, but it is absolutely bananas. 
He is always there for you. If you need any help, you can call him day or night. I get to talk to him late at night because I'm on the West Coast. But you guys can talk to him anytime you want. Pastor Dale Wafer, have you made it to the line? I am here, Coach and Keith. How are you? I'm doing great, Pastor Dale. How are you well, doing? Good. <laughs> well, I tell you, we've uh, we've had a very busy weekend. As you know, we had our our uh, Super Saturday at the Gaylord uh, Hotel this Saturday and uh, packed out the room. We had about 48 guests. And, uh, you know, that being accompanied with the uh, all of the guests that we had on our Thursday night TTP, uh, which we had about uh, 15 guests there, I tell you, it's the excitement and the momentum and, uh, you know, what's happening is, 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 is exciting because it's not only happening here in Washington, but it's happening in Atlanta, it's happening in Detroit. Uh, I mean, wow, we had probably eight or ten people uh, all the way from Detroit that was in our meeting here uh, on uh, this Saturday. So I'm telling you, this is a hot, hot opportunity. And we're looking Absolutely. forward to, to hearing the stories all across the United States of how people are really enjoying not only our product, but also enjoying uh, this uh, this company, this compensation. And so when you look at the new blood coming in and the new people coming in, it's always exciting to see uh, the eyes of the new people. You know, it's like when your kid gets something and you see for the, for the first time, their eyes get big like, Wow, I really know what that means. <laughs> and that's all we saw. I mean, that's all we saw Saturday was just, you know, lights being turned on. People were like, wow, 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 lights being turned on. So it was a really amazing, amazing time. Uh, as you said, you know, Pastor Denise, uh, myself, and the executive team members here at um, an NCA here in the, in the East Coast was just really, really excited about those people who came in and participated. Uh, had a lot of great help with our team here, and uh, it's just more and more excitement about things that are happening. Uh, so you know, you definitely want to you know schedule your 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 TTPs, uh, your ten tasting parties, or talk to people you know, or ten testimonials <laughs> party, uh, whatever your whatever you want to call that acronym. Uh, you want to get it scheduled. You want to start working right away. Uh, because when you just when you get excited and you open up your home or you have your first meeting and uh, the first person comes and they join your business, oh man, it's a wow factor for you. It's an exciting time for you. Uh, so you don't want to delay that uh, uh, very long. You want to get busy, get started, get your uh, TTP hosted, and uh, you know get in there and and begin building your business. Uh, so don't forget also our promotion uh, of our Super uh, super Sizzle, our Sizzle uh, Summer Days uh, are until to, uh, Wednesday, July 16th. So you want to make sure that you're still in the, in the game for that, and that's, that promotion basically says that if you get two people, uh, you know, the company's going to automatically give you $100, but then they're going to give you another additional $100 under the Super Sizzle Summer uh, deal. And when those people, two people to get that you get, get their two people, you're going to get an additional hundred dollars from uh, the compensation plan. But also, the company is going to give you two more hundred dollars as a result of the promotion that we have to the 16th. So you literally have the opportunity to make three hundred dollars in that 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 situation, as well as if you're not an executive, you get a hundred dollar uh, executive bonus. So exa exciting, exciting opportunity uh, to earn some money. Now, the name is putting this money on the table. This is an opportunity for you to use this money to help you go to one star. And uh, so we're really excited about what's taking place. And uh, I was really excited about uh, Miss um, uh, Nikki Soto, who was talking about uh, last week, how, you know, to make this so easy for people to get car qualified. You know, four executives on one side and eight executives on the other side, and you're going to be picking out your Mercedes-Benz or your BMW, and the company is going to be paying for it. Wow, what amazing, amazing compensation plan when you do things like that. So we're really excited about all the promotions, all what's happening, and uh, we're looking forward to more and more things happening to help change your life and change your world. So let's uh, back out of here, and let's find out what Miss Lakeisha Bond, our coach on Monday, has for us today. Well, thank you, Pastor Dale, and my, 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 we have so many promotions coming on, and if you haven't already, make sure you go to your back office. The tickets for the East Coast Regional 
I think that's on September 27th, if I'm, I'm hoping that's correct. Make sure that you purchase your tickets. I know the early bird special, I'm not sure if it's still there. I haven't checked. I already bought my tickets. But um, make sure that you get that because you got to be out there and meet all the new leaders, all the new leaders, all the old leaders, and just anybody that you hear on the call that you kind of want to shake hands with and exchange numbers. That's going to be a great opportunity for you to network. It's going to be a great training opportunity. I know I talked to... Uh, Robert Hickens, the director of field relations, and he is just, he's like training, 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 training. Um, so I know he's already gathering his team together, so it's going to be a very, very hot event. It's also going to be at the Gaylord National Hotel, which I've been there. It's absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking, um, and that beautiful city you guys have over there. So make sure you get your tickets in your back office. Okay, so today... I was really thinking about, really, what did I want to talk about today? And so I came up with this title, and it sounds so snazzy, but then the points are just kind of, you know, the same points. It's just good for us to always remember, you know, are we active in our business? You know, one of the things about network marketing that's really, really great is that you work for yourself. You are self-employed. You Nobody has to tell you when to clock in, when to clock out. Um, but sometimes that can be a detriment, especially if you're used to working as an employee where someone is clocking you and someone's making sure that you're doing this, that, and the other. Sometimes we can get a little complacent, and we don't get fired. Nobody's going to kick you out of this business if you don't work and if you don't produce. You know, you're not going to be making any money, but it doesn't mean that you can't still say you're a part of 10, part of this opportunity, and still growing, but you may not be active. And so um, I'd like to title this training, 10 Deadly Sins of Network Marketing. So, yes, it sounds very, very scary, and I didn't actually put these in any particular order, um, but these are just some of the things that I see out there, you know, from other leaders who have said things that they've gone through, um, things that I've experienced myself, and these are like 10 top points that I think are really, really important for us to keep in mind, and we should always be checking ourselves, you know. I like to think of myself as a very self-reflective person and saying, you know, am I actually producing? Am I actually working? Am I actually contributing? You know, what am I really doing? And I think we should all be like that. That's just my own personal opinion. Anyways, number one, so um, overflating your products or your services, making medical claims. Now, we have a nutritional product, and, it, you know, it's very easy that when you're hearing all these amazing testimonies, I think it was Sherry, I can't remember her last name, you know, um, no more Alzheimer's. Amazing, 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 but you can't, we can't make any medical claims here. All we can do is really share our testimonies about what happens, things that we hear on the calls, things that we hear from somebody else, things that we've experienced in our own personal lives. We have to be very careful that we don't overflate the product and that we're not telling people, oh, this is going to cure your cancer, vitamin D. The studies are out there, so refer them to the studies. You know, the data is out there, refer them to the data. Testimonies are out there, refer them to other people who can kind of validate some of these things that we're seeing in the field, but you don't want to make any medical claims. You don't want to step over that line where you're making a false claim and you could somehow be held liable. So you don't want to overflate the products or the services. Um, you know, embellishing your income, number two. You know, this is one of the things that's great about network marketing is that even though I said, like I said, you're in business by your, for yourself, but you're never going to be by yourself. And so a lot of people, when they're first starting off in network marketing, um, when they're first getting out there and they're telling people the question that they hear most often is, well, how much money are you making? And, you know, here's a great response to that. You can say, well, I don't know because I haven't collected all yet. Because here's the thing. You can expose someone to the business today, and they may not join your organization for another six months, which is why follow-up is so important, you guys. You know, make sure that you are following up with these people because their lives change, situations change. You know, someone who is healthy and does is feeling great now cannot be feeling just as great in six months from now. And all of a sudden they remember, oh, you know what? I remember that Sherry or Paul Jackson told me about that product that they had, some spray vitamins. Let me try that. And so you always want to make sure that you're following up. But, you know, if you have, if you aren't making any money right now, that's okay. This is the power of the three-way call. You know, you hear it all the line, and people haven't said this yet, but I know that there's probably, like, at least five or eight new car qualifiers that have happened right now. I'm sure that the company will be announcing them soon. But you can always reach out to people, which is another reason. I know I'm getting, uh, I'm all crazy today. I'm all jazzed up, but, you know, my cell energy and everything. But um, this is another reason why it's so great to go out to these events so you can network with other leaders. And when you network with other leaders and you get those phone numbers, that just increases all the people that you can make contact with and do three-way calls. I can tell you something right now. I have not met one leader in this team, not one, who wasn't willing to do a three-way call 
for anybody who asked, whether or not they got paid. And that is very rare to find in a company. And so that's where you can use the power of the three-way call if you're not earning any income. Or even if you are earning any income, you are earning income, but maybe you're not earning as much as this person. That's going to be the power of the three-way call. So you want to make sure you use that as a source of validation. And instead of embellishing your income, you can just have somebody else talk about their income. Number three, talking negatively about the industry, the company, or another distributor. You know, I, I'm not a big believer in negative talk, period. I just think that there's no place for it in my life, and I just haven't seen it add value anywhere. But, you know, you don't want to talk about the industry. A lot of people like to say network marketing doesn't work, and I like to say they didn't work network marketing. It works if you work it. You can really go to any company, follow the system, and make money. A lot of people aren't willing to do the work that's associated with that, and that's okay. You have to take ownership of that. But it doesn't mean that this platform of building wealth doesn't work because we know that it does. It's making millionaires every single day in this company and in other companies. So you don't want to talk about the industry. You definitely don't want to talk about the company. You know, if you had something that went on with the company and, you know, you got a, you're got you feeling a certain type of way, keep that to yourself. They always say you send problems up, you send excitement down. So when you're talking to your upline, if you have a problem, and if you're talking to your um, success line, you want to tell them about all the excitement and all the great things that are coming on. But you never want to talk about the company because at the end of the day, the company will always be there, even if leaders cycle in and out. You don't want to talk about another distributor. You know, um, there are some scrupulous distributors out there. There's some people out there who come in with um, not the most pure motives. But you know what? We rise above the fray, and we don't want to ever talk about somebody else because you never know when that person might be, have been gone through something that day. They might end up coming back into the organization. You never know. So, like I said, negative talk never has a place in my life, and I think it's important that we just apply that to all areas of the business and not talk about the industry, the company, or another distributor. Number four, inconsistency. Oh, my goodness, this just crushes momentum. You know, even if you're taking small actions every single day, it's better than doing a little bit of action, no action. A lot of action, no action. Some action, no action. Because it just crushes your momentum. And so you want to make sure that you don't just show up and disappear. Like you're here one day, you're not here the next day. Oh, you're a leader and you're on fire. And then you don't come the next day. And then, you know, people are inviting you on the calls. And then now you're not on the calls and you're promoting another product. You know, just be consistent about whatever it is that you're going to do. Because that inconsistency, it's really, it, you know, it's a drain on the team. It's a drain on everyone around you. And people would rather you be in or out. I love the way the Bible says, don't be hot or don't be lukewarm. Warm, be hot or cold, be in or be out. Don't just kind of, you know, be around and kind of do something and kind of not do something. Number five, stealing someone else's distributor. You know, one thing that we're really big on here at Team Effort Network is that we can use that calendar, winwith10.com slash calendar, and you can really go to send your guests to any TTP party that's out there in the United States or abroad, and, you know, that distributor can be taken care of, they can get the information that they need, and then we send them right on back to you for you to close them. And so you never, 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 ever, ever, ever want to steal someone else's distributor. If they're not your guest and you didn't invite them, you never want to take credit and say, oh, well, we'll take care of you over here. Or since we're closer than the person who invited you, just come on. No, we don't ever want to do that because we're building not only just uh, we're building a foundation. We're building a culture here, and that's not part of our culture. That's not what we do here. Does that happen in other network marketing companies? Absolutely. Has it happened here? I can't say that it has or it hasn't because I, I just don't know, but I just know that that's one of the sins that, you know, if people find out that you're stealing distributors, that can just crush your business. So, like I said, we always want to operate in integrity. We always want to do the right things for the right reasons, and we never, ever, 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 ever want to steal anybody else's distributor. Number six. Making it about yourself and not your team. You know, the goal here is to learn it, to teach it, and to teach people to teach it. You know, we always want to be building up new leaders. Now, is everybody going to want to be on the call? No. You know, I love doing this. As you can tell, I absolutely love talking to people. I love being on stage. You know, um, before I changed my major, I was going to major in television, film, and new media productions, and I was going to be an anchor. So I love doing this. this is, I have absolutely no problem talking in front of people, but not everybody's like me. And so we still want to make sure that we're promoting new leaders within, and we want to make sure that it's not all about ourselves. Now, it's okay if, you know, people on your team, they don't want to talk, but you always want to make sure that you're promoting new leaders, that we're encouraging new people to come on if they want to, 
having people bring their testimony, because sometimes that's just that little bit of motivation or that little bit of kick that somebody might need to feel like they're important, to make them feel like they are a part of something. So that's always important. And we don't want to make it about ourselves. We want to make it about our team. We want to make sure that we're, you know, helping people to learn it, to teach it, and to teach it to someone else. Number seven, the success coma. I love what um, Amy says about this. She's like, don't get into management mode. And it's very easy for us to get into management mode, especially if you came from a background of being a manager. It's very easy to get into that comfortable role. But, you know, you want to make sure that you're not just leading, but you're also recruiting and that you're doing the things that you're telling your distributors to do. Yeah, I know. I hit, I hit home with that one. I know that. It's okay because that's what we're here for, Tim family. We're here to kind of just get into your kitchen, stir things up a little bit, and get you on your way. You know, it's always a good idea for us to check ourselves and make sure that we are being, being the leaders that we want to, that we are being the people that we want our distributors to be, that we want our partners to be, that we are leading by example. And so it's very easy to fall in that. I fall into that. Other leaders fall into that. We all, at one place or a time, find ourselves in management mode and not recruiting because it's easier but, you know, this opportunity is so new. You know, when I say when people are just now learning about spray vitamins, if you think you're getting an amazing reaction now, wait 6 to 8, 12 months from now when you're getting a phenomenal reaction. Because here's the thing, 90, 98% absorption, you know, 98% absorption is what's happening right now. And when people realize that there is an absolute difference between taking a vitamin D pill and taking a vitamin D spray, the switch is going to be turned on, the floodgates are going to be coming, the ocean waves is going to be soaring into your pockets. And so you always want to make sure that you are out there and that you are you are leading by example, that you are continuing to recruit, you're continuing to taking advantage of all these amazing promotions that Mel and Amy have because they can do nothing but help to grow your business. So don't get stuck in management mode. Don't get into that success coma. Oh, I've got my two people. I'm good. I don't need to do anything else. Oh, I made it to executive. I'm hot to trot. Now, everybody, you need to do your job. That's not how we want to be. We want to make sure that we're helping people to become team builders. Because remember, it's all about duplication. If we're not duplicating, if we're just recruiting people in and they're not duplicating, you're just working a job. So you want to make sure you're getting people in, that they're helping to teach that system for them so they can go off and they become executives and they build other executives. Um, number eight. People underestimate how many people they need to share this opportunity with in order to convert it to new business partners or new customers. So, um, you know, one of the things is, is that you do. You only need two people in order to grow your organization. And I've heard so many examples of people getting the right two people, but that's a keyword, the right two people in their front, uh, in their front lines, and then boom, their lines are taking off. But that doesn't happen for everybody, okay? Sometimes the couple of people that you thought would be absolutely amazing for this business they're not interested because of whatever time you may have in their life. And so you can't just stop and say, well, I talked to two people. You said I only needed two people. Let's not underestimate how many people we might need to get to get those two qualified people. And when I say qualified people, I'm talking about people who share the vision, people who are long-term with the vision, people who see that this is a rare opportunity in time where you get to actually be at the very foundation, the momentum before the wave starts to crash on the ocean. You know, people who see that and who are looking at this business, you know, six months, 12 months, eight months, 18 months out, those are the qualified people because then they're going to be there. They're going to weather the storm. There's a lot of things you have to go through when the company is barely new starting out. I mean, the company has been around for 11 years, but when you're starting a new division, there's always things that you're going to have to go through. There's hiccups, there's bumps, and you need people who are going to be able to go on that journey with you and not just quit at the first side of adversity. So that's what I mean by qualified people. But you can't underestimate how many people you need to talk to. That's why we say use that memory jogger. You know, list out all the people that you know. Contact everybody. Don't just find the first two qualified people that you think you're going to do it. Give everybody this opportunity. Really, if you think about it, you kind of owe it to everybody that you know to give them this opportunity because think about it like this in 12 to 18 months when everybody is using vitamin sprays and your friend comes and tries to recruit you into the business how are you going to feel or if someone says dude you found out about this while they were still beginning and you didn't tell me about it and I could have been making a lot of money right now instead I'm coming in at the tail instead of coming in at the head you don't want to have to have that conversation with anybody. So make sure that you're sharing this opportunity with as many people as you know. As Melissa Honeybee was telling me this morning, share, 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 share. Love it. Number nine, trying to convince your prospects. You know, we're just at one of those rare opportunities. You just can't spend time trying to convince people who are saying no. 
If they don't see it, they don't see it. You know, sell them some sprays and move on with your life. You can't make people see the vision. Not everybody's going to be a visionary. My husband likes to say this to me, and I think it's it's funny when he says it, but he's like, you know, not everybody can be um, wealthy. Not everybody can be a millionaire. Not everybody can do this because somebody's still going to work at McDonald's and give me my chicken sandwich and my, my soda. You know, somebody's got to work there. Somebody's got to do that, and somebody will before you will have with you always. And so at this time, we can't really spend that much time trying to convince people that this is the right opportunity. All we can do is just continue to expose, continue to expose, continue to expose, allow them to make a decision, accept whatever the decision is, put them in your box, follow up with them six months from now, because that might be a different story. So don't try to convince people that this is the right opportunity. Like, oh my goodness, you know, these spray vitamins are taking over the world. This is so amazing. And they're like, eh, I don't know. And you're like, but this is, this is, this is. And like, mm, no, I'm not sure if that's something I'm really interested in. This. Well, how about you just try some sprays? Okay, great. I'll just try some sprays. Thank you. Have a nice day. And just keep it pushing because you have so many other people that you got to talk to that you can't spend time trying to convince people. And then number 10. And this is probably the biggest sin of all. I saved it for last. It's the only one that I actually do think is in the right order is failing to take action. You know, we can sit around here all day long and I can, you know, talk fast and share my excitement with you and you can hang up this phone and be like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take action today. I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm going to get uncomfortable. I'm going to share this opportunity with people. You can do that. But if you don't actually do that, then it's not going to change your situation. And so, you know, whenever I think of these trainings and whenever I'm kind of thinking of you guys and I'm loving on you guys, and I'm like, what can I do to help people grow their business? And, you know, I can't tell you the ABCs. Say this to this person, say that to that person. Say, you know, do this, do that. There's lots of scripts out there. There's lots of, you know, but the formula is very simple. Share the opportunity, give people information, follow up with them, invite them out to a TTP, invite them to a three-way call, invite, 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 and catch a decision. That's it. And the reason that I don't go into the ABCs is because people like to hear the how. They really like to hear the how, and they like to hear the, 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 the 13 steps to success. You know, we like to do these things because I think, per, this is my own personal opinion, it, it keeps us in that, you know, getting ready to do stage. Well, I'm getting ready to start my business. Yes, I'm going to start my business on Monday. I'm going to listen to what Nikisha says. Yeah, I'm going to take those points. I'm going to do it. And then Monday comes and Monday goes. And then, okay, well, I'm going to do it Tuesday because I got really busy on Monday. I can run my business on Monday. Okay, uh, Tuesday comes and Tuesday goes. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to do it on Saturday because Saturday is when people are available, and that's when I'm going to call them and do it on Saturday. Okay, yeah, Saturday comes and goes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to wait till this Monday because, you know, whatever she was talking about last Monday didn't really motivate me, but this Monday is absolutely going to motivate me. It's not. I can tell you it's not. You know, I'm not going to say anything up here that's super, super magical other than take action. Do today something that you've been meaning to do for the last couple of Mondays, which is why I love Mondays. I remember gaining 15 pounds waiting to start my diet on Monday when I was younger. It happens. That's what people do. And in between those times, you lose that opportunity, you lose that momentum, you lose that steam, and it's easier to put it off to the next Monday and the next Monday and the next Monday. So if you're on the line now, I'm not trying to get into your kitchen and make you feel bad. I don't want you to feel bad. There's no point in feeling bad. All you got to do is just make a decision to change. Make a decision to take action today. You know, get fired up, listen to whatever songs make you excited, pick up the phone, and just start sharing this opportunity, sharing what you're experiencing with the product, sharing what's going on with Pastor Dale and his team. Share, 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 whatever it is. Just say something. Just call somebody. Just do something. Take some sort of action today. Okay, Tim family, I know I was a little rough on you. I'm sorry, you know, kisses, kisses. I love you. This is nothing but love, and I hope that it helps somebody grow their business because sometimes I know me. Sometimes you just kind of hear those uncomfortable things, kind of say, yep, let me check myself, see where I'm at. If you checked it off and say, I'm good on all points, hey, you're fired up. You're all on all five cylinders. The people who are fired up, who are doing stuff, you know, they just take this information and store it in their back pocket, and maybe that's something they can share with the rest of their team when they find people who are building as much as they want to or doing as much as they want to. So either way, take it to end family, know that it was in love, and back to you, Pastor Dale. Wow, wow, my goodness. <laughs> boy, you laid the hammer down today, boy. That was good, good stuff, though, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's a couple of a couple of things that really just stood out as you were talking about these things, and uh, and then one absolutely is is the the whole piece about you know uh, this culture that we're creating. This is an amazing culture. Uh, we have an opportunity 
uh, this early on to set the DNA, set the foundation for the type of company we want to build. Uh, you know, that's the great thing about this opportunity we have here is that we are in such a position uh, with, uh, you know, with just only a couple hundred people in this company to really set the tone for what we do as a culture in this company. It's not like we, we joined this company and it already has 300,000 people, a million people in the, in, in, in the culture already set. You know, uh, so we definitely want to create a culture, and that's one of the things that Mel always talks about. Uh, is why he even named this call the Team Effort Lifestyle Call, because he wanted to change the culture. He wanted to create a culture of of a uh, 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 family and a couple of uh, uh, friendship and family and and uh, and financial freedom. And you do that by saying, "Hey, listen, the brand is what's important." Okay. Our individual teams are great, and we definitely want to do all we can for our individual teams so they can grow, so we can make money. But let me tell you guys, if the brand is no good, if the, if, if the brand fails, then you're not going to make any money because you can't make money with, with a failed brand. Okay, So you got to make sure that the one, the one, number one thing is that our brand is successful. And our brand becomes successful when we help Anybody build their business, no matter who they are, who their their upline, downline, sidelines are. We help anyone build their business because we're helping to build the brand. The more people that know about this business, when you hear, you know, a hundred thousand people uh, that are for, that are customers and, and distributors in this company buying this product, and people are starting to talk about what's happening in their health, and they say, and, and people ask, well, why? Why? What happened in your health? I got these products from this company called Ten. Well, the more and more they hear Ten, the more uh, uh, the more the concept of, of the, the the security of that company and the the branding of that company gets in them, and people become more familiar with that company, and they'd be more uh, secure in purchasing products from that company. So not only that, but when you get a chance to talk to people and they say, I heard about that company, I heard a lot of people health to change because of that company, it helps you recruit better. So uh, I love that, you know, that brand, the culture of the brand. We've got to make sure that this culture stays firm, and we're in a position to do that and put in this infrastructure in this company right now. Uh, and, and one of the things we do is we don't try to go after other people's distributors. You know, we don't do that. You know, you just, you, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's non, you don't do that at all. You know, uh, if somebody invites somebody to a meeting, uh, you welcome them and, 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 and help them, anything I can do, any questions I can ask them. But you don't say, you know, and, I, and I've seen people do this in other companies. Well, you know, I'm in, I'm, I'm in Washington and, and you're in Washington and the person who invited you is in California. We, you know, we're, we're closer. We might as well work together. You don't do that. That is just not that, that's just, that's a non-starter. So I think you laid out some very very good uh, points that we need to keep in mind uh, because we're building a culture, you know, of integrity, a culture that uh, says, you know, we look out for each other. And uh, I'm glad to hear I'm glad to hear these ten things. So we need to be reminded of them, you know, from time to time. You know, uh, every few months we need to be reminded about these ten things because uh, you can get fall into traps, especially if you came out of other companies and you came from other places and you may be working with other companies. And you know, it's a, you know, it's a, 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 a you know, only the strong survive mentality and attitude, dog eat dog attitude. And uh, unfortunately, that's how the world system is. That's how. Uh, uh, network marketing has been, but we want to build a company that's different. What did Mel say? We want to build a company where people can say, it's safe to come home. You know, come on home. It's safe over here. And so we can't do it without you, and we can't do it without you all uh, being a part of the vision of making this company a place, a safe haven for those people who genuinely enjoy this market and this marketing strategy called network marketing, relationship marketing, multi-level marketing, whatever you want to call it. They really enjoy it, but they've been burned so many times, they just don't want to be a part of anything. When they find a company that says, it's safe to come home, I'm telling you, floodgates are open. So, great job, Nikisha. Really love what you're doing here. Uh, any last words? No, I think I think people have had enough for me today. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you know, any good coach beats up on you every now and then. You know, they have to whoop, whoop up on you. You know, uh, our, my coach always said, whoop, 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 whoop. I'm going to need you to whoop, whoop. We're going to whoop, whoop on it today. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> every every good coach has, has that going for him. Uh, I think we're going to go out to, uh, I think it's uh, – the UK today, uh, it's Miss uh, Doctor Anita Poo. Are you out there? Doctor Anita, are you with us? No. Well, then we'll swing back to Atlanta and go to One Star Kevin Vaughn. How are you, Kevin? Hey, we got your back. Hey, we got your back, Pastor Denise, Pastor Dale, excuse me, Pastor Dale, and Pastor. And that's a Pastor. We'll say Pastor Nikisha. Nikisha, Coach Nikisha Vaughn. How are you guys doing today? Just so excited here. Had my uh, Super 10 today. I'm rolling today, guys. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. <laughs> wonderful, man. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, love it. How's everybody weekend? Nikisha, how was your weekend? Woo-hoo. That's Woo-hoo. great. All right. How was your weekend? That's great. Oh, my weekend was great. Oh, all right. Sounds good. Hey, hey, Pastor Day, I was just thinking about Nikisha's uh, gave us some awesome points. I call that the nuts and bolts of business. And I tell you, the one that I like, the one you brought up was about when you have a TTP, ladies and gentlemen, you definitely want to treat that new person, uh, invited person, as if the person who invited them is in the room. That's the way we handle it right there, <laughs> Pastor Dale. So anybody you invite down there, we're going to treat them just like as if you were there with them. So that's the way we do that, and we keep moving because we are a family, and we just take, each, take care of each other over and over again. So those are the nuts and bolts from the Keisha Bond. Nikisha, that is awesome. Thank you so much for that. And it's just fine-tuning our business because we're talking about a billion-dollar industry, Pastor, Pastor uh, Dale. We're talking about a billion-dollar industry that we're working each and every day, and we want to treat it just like that, guys. And when you treat it like a billion-dollar industry, our business is going to treat you the same way. Mel and Amy always teach us that as well. Okay, I've got some quotes for you real quickly, guys. Get excited. Oh, also, too, Pastor, I want to mention, too, about the TTPs around the globe, around the country. Please go to winwith10.com slash calendar for all the new people on the line. This is your TTPs around the country, so you can plug those, all your folks in. That's when with 10 tencom forward slash calendar, just for a reminder, guys. Hey, also, too, Pastor, we had an awesome TTP on Sunday. Uh, we blew it up on Sunday, man. Everybody was jacked and excited, and we're, we're continuing to grow, and we just got some great things happening uh, for the event coming up uh, in September, so we'll share that information as we get that finalized as well on our bus trip to uh, D.C. Again, we'll release that information as soon as we get confirmation uh, from our planner, okay? So we'll share that with everybody as well. Hey, our quotes for today. i got three major quotes for you guys real quickly. Uh, this is Kevin Vaughn from Atlanta, Georgia. We are excited. We want everybody to have an awesome week. We want you to kick it off great, as you have already done. Nikisha's helped us out today, and Pastor Dale's helped us out today. But the first quote of the day is from Rosine. She says, you have today. You are here. Do something special. Come on now. That's for Pastor Denise right there. I know she likes that one. Yeah, she's going to like that one. When you have today, you are here. Do something special, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, the next quote of the day, Pastor Dale and, and Nikisha, is tomorrow's life is too late. Tomorrow's life is too late. Live today. I want you all to think about that right now. Okay, that's a good one. Good quote there. Hey, our last quote of the day, ladies and gentlemen, comes from Mitch A. Baum. He says, faith is about doing. You are about, you are how you act, not just how you believe. Woo, I'm going to read that one, one more time. That's, a, that's Dale and Nikisha. Faith is about doing. You are how you act, not just how you believe. I love it. So as you've talked to us so many times, Pastor, about taking action, and ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you to take massive action in this wonderful company called 10 that Mel and Amy Gill has given to us. Back to you, Pastor. Dale, Pastor, and uh, Nikisha. Well, thank you guys. Have a great day. Uh, well, Kevin, I have, I have a, uh, uh, I have a great, I have a revelation, man. You yes, know, sir. we're gonna, have, we're gonna have this great event here, uh, September yes. 27th, 10 Regional, yes. and uh, yes. we're gonna have people coming from all over. But yes. I tell you what, I think we should have a big PPP in Atlanta, in the Atlanta area. Maybe the go. first or second weekend in September to get you go. Uh, more people, get more people uh, uh, excited like about the company, and get more Thank people you. on that bus. Uh, uh, I think that would be a good thing. So why don't you yes. 
plan a second uh, the, a weekend, uh, the first, the second weekend, and uh, uh, I'll fly down. I'll see if Pat and Denise can fly down, but I'll come wow. down for sure. Let's do a major That's meeting good. down there, and uh, we'll invite, you know, we, got, we know a lot of folks in Atlanta yeah, in that sure. area. Yes, we'll find a bunch of folks as well, and uh, that'll be, you know, the, the pre-meeting yeah. for everybody yeah. coming on the South 27th from Atlanta in the Atlanta area. That's it, Pastor. Consider it started. Almost started already. We're going to start it today. That's great. Thank you so much. I'll get you that date. All right. Yeah, All right. Knock it out. All right. Sounds like I want to thank you so well, much. You know, guys, like we're, we're getting booked in, in, in August. There's a number yeah. of places we're traveling to in August, so uh, you uh, keep your ears open for that. We're going to be doing a n- number of different things. We're going to really, really be pushing hard uh, over yeah. the next uh, six uh, weeks or whatever the case may be till. Uh, September 27th, uh, we're going to be pushing really hard, so we'll be doing a lot of traveling and going to these different areas uh, to yeah. help people get excited so we can get more and more people to that 10 Regional. That That's 10 amazing. Regional is going to be totally off the grid. Let me tell you that right yeah. now. It's going to be yeah. totally yeah. off the grid. Uh, so uh, we're really excited about what's happening. So if you, you know, if you got some major events going on, let us know about those major, major events so we can maybe get some people down in your area. And, uh, hey, let's build, build, build. Really excited about all the things that's happening. Thank you, One Star Kevin Bond. Thank you, Coach Nikisha, for all that you're doing. And uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us on this Monday call. It's a great way to get your week started. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more excitement, some more uh, 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 trainings, with some more testimonies about how this product is changing people's lives. Thank you guys so much for joining us on the call, and we'll see you tomorrow. And remember, as we always say, you are loved Loved and and greatly appreciated. appreciated. God bless you guys. All right. Welcome to the future, guys. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.